This is a great way to not just turn on your screensaver, but to lock your computer down with a quick keyboard shortcut. That's the main reason I wanted this. And by the way, I'm using Mac OS X 10.9.3 in this demonstration. The first thing you want to do is go to your system preferences. And if we're using this as a, a lockdown, and we use, uh, you want to make sure that your uh, security settings are correct. So make sure this is checked. Require password immediately after sleep or screensaver begins. You can choose five seconds or whatever if you want a little delay there. But uh, so the whole idea of this is you use the keyboard shortcut to turn on your screensaver, and boom, your computer's locked. Now let's go to Automator. You should have that on your Mac, your Applications or Utilities folder, and let's tell it to start a new document. And Automator wants to know what kind of document we want to create. This is going to be a service that we build. Very, very simple. So once this window comes up, you are going to choose an action to put into the workflow. And here's a list of actions on the left side. This one is in the utilities area. Scroll down a little bit. Toward the bottom, you see Start Screensaver. Drag that into the workflow. And we can change this up, this menu here to no input. There's no text that's going to be coming into this. And that's all you need just to uh, build this. And you can test it if you want. You could click run and it will start the screensaver. But let's go ahead and save this. We've already said it's a service, so we'll automatically, once we put a name to it, it will save it into our services folder on our um, in the library of our home folder. So there it is. So we don't need Automator anymore. We can close this. Now, let's go back into System Preferences to the keyboard area. This is where we're going to set up a keyboard shortcut. So go to Shortcuts, and under Services, if we scroll down a little bit here, we will find Screensaver Go. That's what we set up. So click Add Shortcut, and I like Control, Option, Command, Slash. It's three fingers, it's real easy, no the slash, and there you go. So now, when I'm ready to walk away from my Mac, and I want to be sure it's locked down as soon as I leave, I hit that keyboard shortcut, and there we go. Now if somebody wants to get in, they're going to need the password. So that's how to set up a keyboard shortcut for screen lock and screensaver on Mac OS X.